Hi everyone, this is the standardization exercise session. Um, and we're going to go through this as it's really important for quality anthro training, um, quality anthro measurements during surveys. So when do we do this standardization exercise? Uh, you would do this after you have trained the numerators on how to measure height, length, weight, and screen for bilateral pitted edema. So after you have done all that training, then you can do the standardization exercise with the enumerators to see how they're doing, um, what they've um, learned, um, how well they're trained to do the anthro measurements. And what you need for preparation uh, is to invite children and caregivers from the community uh, for measuring um, during this exercise. So uh, it would be usually one child uh, under five um, per team of two or three enumerators. So if there's 10 enumerators, you would need to at least invite five children and their caregivers. Um, you have to make sure there's a space um, venue that's large enough for all the teams and child caregiver pairs um, to be set up. It's uh, ideal in an open space or in a large room. Um, every team should have their equipment. So there should be a weighing scale, height length board, um, MUAC tape if you're doing MUAC. Um, I don't think you are, but if it's needed, then MUAC tape. And then also the worksheets for every team. And I'll go through what's um, in the worksheets. You can adapt it for your own training. And then um, as a key preparation, the trainers or someone um, who is experienced in anthro measurements will need to weigh all the children in advance and also, sorry, take the heights of all the children in advance of the standardization exercise so that there's an answer key so, so that um, participants or the enumerator teams can compare uh, it with their own measurements taken. So what to do for the setup is that each child and caregiver will be at a station. So they will stay at their station. Um, so you can set up as many stations as needed for the training of the numerators that you have. And there should be sort of a common place maybe for refreshments just to help um, it be a comfortable and good time for the children and caregivers. Um, so each team will start at a station and once they're done, they'll wait uh, for the trainer to move them to the next station. So usually um, maybe that's 10 to 15 minutes per station. You can just check around and see if everybody's done their measurement. If they are, um, then you can move on to the next and tell everyone to move on to their next station. Uh, just to remind you, like um, the child and caregiver can feel free to do whatever they need to do. That should be clear to them. Like if they need to take a break or they want to have a snack or drink water or play for a bit um, for the child's comfort and uh, so that they're not irritable during this exercise, uh, that's of importance. And we want each enumerator team to measure at least five children and fill in that worksheet, um, which I'll get to. So the total time for the exercise shouldn't be very long. Um, less than an hour is usual. And you can, at the end of this time, give some token of appreciation for the caregivers and children for participating. Um, but that's up to you and what's appropriate for your context. And then after the uh, caregivers and children leave, the trainers can then share their answer key, like their standard measurements, and then teams can assess how they did. So let me just share with you the worksheets for the height um, and also the weight. So you can see that the forms are um, let me just go into full screen so you can see it more clearly. Okay. So 
So you will need maybe to put the names of the enumerators for the name of the participants. And um, the style of the form is not very important. It's just a template. What you'll need is some kind of identification for the child. It could be the name of the child. It could be the number of their station. Um, aging months is also uh, maybe not preferable, like date of birth would be more preferable if you wanted the enumerator teams to practice writing down the date of birth for the anthro measurements. And then um, they can put their measurements in the my measure column. And that's what they need to do. They'll just fill it in. And it should be to the first decimal place for um, weight in kilograms. Afterwards, when you show your standard measures, then they can assess whether, oh, it was larger or smaller than the standard measure and the size of the difference. And this will help them assess where they need some improvements if there are any needed. Um, they can total up their number of large, medium, and small differences and uh, whether their measurements leaned more positive or more negative than the standard measure. So let me just move to the um, height form so that you can get to see that one too. So the height and length standardization is very similar. The worksheet is very similar. I'm going to full screen for a better view. Um, so as you can see, you just need to have an identifier for the child or the station um, where the child it was, and then the measurement to the nearest uh, point zero or like one decimal place for centimeters. Um, and then they would assess again the difference, whether it's positive, negative to the standard measure or, and also the size of the difference. So once this is all complete, um, then you can assess each team and how they did for the standardization exercise. Let me move back to the presentation. So the last piece that they'll need to do is to interpret their results. So if by going through the worksheet, um, there's a key at the bottom um, for each of the worksheets on what large, medium, and small are defined as. So if the team has many large or medium differences or any larger medium differences, they should have um, the team practice with the trainer again. But if there's only small differences, then the team is ready and uh, measuring well um, anthropometric um, height and weight. So for the conclusion of this exercise, it's good um, for the teams to debrief what they learned, what they found was maybe um, tips for themselves on how to measure children well during um, the assessment and also what things were difficult and maybe how they overcame those challenges. Those are good learnings to share within the group so that they're ready um, to do the household survey. Thank you very much, and I hope that the anthro training goes well.